Hey everyone, this is Stu with Your Turn Go here at Game Night, and we've got a brand new game for you that we want to show you. It's called Imperial Assault. It's from Fantasy Flight Games, and it's the new it's one of their newest Star Wars miniature games for it. So let's get opening to this here. First off, let's take a look at this box. This box is amazing. It's just it's huge and it's thick. It's almost like the width of my hand big. It's 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 massive. And for the piece count that they're talking about here on the back, it is truly impressive. I, it, first of all, let's take a look at just the back here real quick. Look at all this. This is gorgeous art. It looks like it's going to be an amazing good time. You know, it's got tons of good information here. Like, they've got a little Nexu over here. We've got an amazing Stormtrooper art. We've got a giant ATST. Oh, yes. You know, we've got, we've got good guys. We've got bad guys. We've got guys doing stuff. We've got dice to roll things. We've got tokens to mark your token tokens. It's going to be amazing. And we're going to be going to the... We're going to be going to the galaxy far, far away, man. So, come on. I can't wait anymore. We've got to open this up. So let's go ahead and just... This is kid at Christmas, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't get excited about much, but this is going to be it. So, okay, let's get this guy open here. Nice, tight seal. Oh, perfect. Yes. Okay, we got a slip in here for Imperial Assault's figure packs. Now, these are planned expansions that Fantasy Flight's going to have here. This edition here of the core game will come with Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader. Uh, free gratis here with it, and so that's that's pretty nice. Uh, I know that there are other plane expansions like Rebel Troopers. Um, there are other planes, things like IG-88 and Han Solo are other plane expansions. There's gonna be stuff for his, for the bad guys as well as for the good guys. So we got we had a great time there. Uh, we got a Fancy Flight catalog, always nice. We got to learn to play. Read this first manual. So I guess we'll read that first here when we get when we get done to it here. We got the campaign guide. So nice. And a rules reference guide. And then the skirmish guide. Now this is the interesting part. A lot of people have been talking about how this game basically mimics Descent, which is Fancy Flight's other large scale, kind of almost role playing game like board game. Well, skirmish guide is something that's going to be allowing us here to be, basically have two players pit themselves kind of PvP against each other. And so one of you can take on various forces. And they've been talking about organized play kits here on that. So here we go. We have the first set here of cardboard tiles. As you can see, there are various tiles put together in kind of a jigsaw format to be able to help create the various levels together. Uh, we've got tokens for various status effects and ideas. There's crate markers. Um, some of the some of the things in this in this expansion here that were called for in the campaign guide do not have models for it, unfortunately. If they did, honestly, this game probably costs around almost maybe one and a half to twice its cost. But for now, they'll be available in expansions, but we have cardboard markers to mark for these. For example, this is going to be General Weiss, who will be one of their badass ATST pilot guys. It's going to be amazing. Another one here, this one looks uh, a little foresty and very more, much more technological here in that. We've got generic Rebel Trooper guys. Looks like we've got maybe, I don't know, Bleeding Wound kind of counters. Oh, there's, there's what we know Fantasy Flight for. we got counters. we got a guy, a console here with two holes in it. We know what this is. This is going to be definitely most, be most definitely dials. We can't get away without it here. Look at this. Got a Royal Guard here with like kind of the Empire of the Rising Sun kind of background on that. Neat. As we get into the core game here, as you can see, we've got is that a good name? Okay. We've got actually a copy here of the in-game art here inside this narrow your alleyway. So let's see here. Inside here we've got character cards. Look how massive these things are. These are like postcards. Postcards from the edge. Got this cool splatter effect. Maybe there's like a there's probably like a wounded mechanic. I haven't read the rules yet, to be completely honest with you, so. I'm looking forward to digging into it. Here we have proprietary dice and yep, and there we go. Track markers and it looks like door it looks like things to hold up like plastic stands, like they do for the, the Battlestar Galactica game. We got tiny cards. For probably a variety of things here. More regular sized cards. Oh, that's a cool little art there. Yeah. This is that cover art again. That assault. Just an idea here. Let's go ahead and uh, crack open like, one of these cards just to get a sense of the layout here. You know, a lot of people can talk about Fantasy Flight for a lot of the problems and a lot of the good things that they have. 
but honestly, their art and layout department is second to none. Everyone, everyone who's working in their graphic layouts or their art department here and their art assets, who is working on either freelance or, or salary, man, I gotta give it to them. These guys always put out a, a, a great product, and every time they acquire a new IP, I think it looks amazing. And they always treat it with, with, a, with an amount of reverence. Yep, we got Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Now just come into this little baggie here. It looks like the expand, planned expansion packs will come in these more blister pack kind of uh, ordeals. Let's actually get one of these figures out here in the bag. And of course they come in a smaller, tinier bag. Alright. So just out of the box. Here's Darth Vader. And Luke Skywalker. swirling cloak. I like how the lightsaber here is resting against part of the swirl of the cloak which prevents it from getting bent too badly. It looks like it's a little slightly bent here but that's absolutely fine. Uh, with this quality of plastic here this stuff is really easy to bend back into position by just putting it in some warm water, bending it into the correct position, then like holding it in the freezer for like 30 seconds and it'll be just set, reset just fine. Uh, Luke obviously this is going to be the New Ho A New Hope uh, episode 4 kind of Luke here just after escaping the Death Star. And Darth Vader, obviously, from about the same era, definitely not Anakin Skywalker. Each of them comes with, looks like, a passel of tiny cards, like Deflection, Telekinetic Throw. Oh, that sounds neat. Meditation, I don't know what good that is, but... <laughs> Lord of the Sith. Hell yes, son. This is going to be so good. So good. Well, wait a minute, where's all the other stuff? I bet I know where the other stuff is. I'm being cute, I'm sorry. Look at that, just amazing. Just amazing. All right. Aha, here's where all that, the rest of that stuff is. Oh my goodness, this is what we paid our money for. We have got an entire bag just dedicated to this ATST. Let's take a look at this guy here. I'm going to just bring him here in the close cam kind of stuff. We've got weapons. We've got more weapons. We've got tiny weapons. We've got a hatch. We've got things to put on that tiny weapon and hatch. We've got hips that can jiggle. Yeah, you know what they're for. They're for walking. We got legs, that legs that go into things. It looks really nice, and it looks really excellently well put together here. Um, word of warning, I have heard a lot of people struggle with putting in the, I think they're, uh, they're being colloquially called teeth lasers, into this socket here. If you're not familiar with hobby miniatures, or, the ho or just kind of how to model things here in particular, um, you'll probably need to take like an X-Acto knife or something to make sure you get rid of all the flash in here. Uh, but I've heard just basically sufficient force, it'll just pop that sucker right in, and it should still have free range of motion to move up and down, look left and right. It'll look, you know, we'll be able to, you'll be able to custom pose things between turns to everything that you really enjoy. So, oh man, I can't wait. All right, that's our big guy. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at not so big guys here. I'm just gonna spill them all out here again. Kid of Christmas, I apologize for being so amazingly excited about all this. We've got Nexu! We've got Big Kitty Nexus with shovel mouths and more! We've got Stormtroopers! Lots of Stormtroopers, actually. We've got about, looks like, I think, nine? We've got Imperial officers to tell those Stormtroopers, you know, what to do, even though, as highly trained soldiers, they probably already ought to know that. I've got probe droids for probing. Yeah. I've got scout troopers on E-Web tactical guns. I've got Emperor's Royal Guard. Oh my goodness. I've got the red cloaks. I've got Trandoshan hunters. I'm gonna hunt down some Wookiees for sure. I've also got our heroes. We have a Twi'lek Jedi. We have a Wookiee with a very, very menacing uh, staff there. We have got, oh cool, you know, this is something I don't often see. I'm actually seeing we have a Bothan. 
There's a Bothan commando in here. That's pretty cool. I've got General Beardo here. I know that's just Jeffson's to start calling him here from now on. And we've got a Rebel Commando. That looks got great. And we got this crouching, crafty smuggler lady. She's going to be great. I can already tell. I already tell these people are going to be my best friends here over the next few months. Man, we've got so much of this stuff. We've got, let's, let's see here. Let's organize this out a little bit here. We've got three Royal Guards, two E-Webs, three Probe Droids, three Trandoshan Hunters, two Nexu, six, seven, eight, nine Whopping Stormtroopers. I've got four Imperial Guard, four Royal Guardsmen, I'm sorry, and I've got four Trandoshans. And I've got two, or sorry, three Imperial Officers. Oh man. This stuff is amazing. Anyway, Imperial Assault is out as of right now, at least at game night here. I, it's just now getting kind of getting released here all over across the country. But you can pick up yours at any of your friendly local game stores. Obviously, if you're in the area, I do recommend game night. Sorry. And this is going to be an amazing experience. Thanks, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like us, subscribe.